yearning for the sea, wanting to be next to the water. I search for inspiration from my African heritage. And this particular uh, art, artwork is called Jemajia, which is the goddess of the sea, the goddess of the Yoruba people from Nigeria and Benin, from those areas. And this is Jemajia as a mermaid in the front. She lives in the house of Olokum. Olokum is like Zeus for the Greeks. He lives down and he is the king of the bottom of the sea. He has all the richness that you can see over there. And Jemajah uh, have come to the earth in seven different lives. So she has the seven different paths. It's like having the seven seas. So each one of these uh, waves that are coming out of her home represent the seven seas and her different stages. She is in the she is the water in the well. She's the rain. She's the water in the river. She is the ocean and the sea. She is the amniotic uh, fluid, the fluid that makes babies, that makes things lo you know move around and grow. That is water. Without water, we can't live. We destroy the water, we're in hard trouble. In the mythologies, we can see Shemajia in, um, even in the polluted water, she, is, she has powers, she's divine. So we just have to be very respectful of the water that we don't pollute her. Because when we do that, she gets sick, we get sick.